up boxes rise i'm back at you one more again i hope everybody is doing blessed i'm doing blessed and highly favored and definitely hope the same for you and if this is your first time coming to my channel much love to you and welcome and to my returning selves my growing extended beautiful family just thank you for showing you just being the truth you know being your true self you know shining your light being unstoppable you know pushing out love and light pushing out positivity and speaking your truth so continue to keep doing those things and with that being said much love to all namaste love and blessings love and light and many blessings are definitely coming your way and if you've been watching my videos for a while and have not already what are you waiting for like and subscribe even hit that notification bell so you know when i'm about to upload my next video and if you feel like you are comfortable enough go ahead and drop me a line or two i love the chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me even if it's about the impact you know about the positive feedback of the content of my video or your impact the gift and how it's been impacted your life and heading you towards positive direction and if you feel um comfortable enough i mean if you feel like the video has been informative enough to you that's what i meant to say and gave you good vibes go ahead and you know if you want to share go ahead and share and give me a thumbs up and like me and share on your social media favorites as well i don't know why that got that was so hard for me to say at that point i say it every day <laughs> and thank you so much for stopping by my channel and showing love and support and i hope you're able to resonate with the content of my video and today i'm listening to eight hours relaxing sleep music meditation music deep sleeping music peaceful sleep and i will post that link in the description box below and my video today is about twin flame 101 what is it um oh impasse what you accept you will continue to attract you know that was back in the day i used to say you know i used to get frustrated and wonder why you know i was like i used to ask myself why do you keep attracting these funny acting folks why do you keep attracting these negative acting folks because of the state of mind i was in i was negative i was acting funny <laughs> so what you attract what you continue to accept you will continue to attract and that that is serious that is serious business well, I'm still so hungry eat my corn bears but um that is serious that's why I try to keep on a positive note because even though sometimes I tend to reflect on things that really pissed me off in the past or continue to piss me off when things keep on happening you know I have to get out that state of mind I really do. I have to keep coaching myself and telling myself that. Because while I'm telling y'all, I'm telling myself the same thing. So it's not like I'm telling y'all something and you can't, can't fall by my own stuff. Because it's just like we can go through so many things. But you know what? Life is always handing us shit sticks left and right. You know, we have to be able to roll with the punches. It's life. You know, things happen. You know, even though sometimes it feel like things happen to us a lot. <laughs> A lot. You said you're being trying to be specific. Be clear. <laughs> be clear. I was thinking about. Oh, uh, sorry. I was thinking about though because he was trying to say specific, and I was about to say specific too. You got to be very specific about the things you pray for, because we do. You have to be exact. You know, got to be. You got to be clear about what you want. You know, you might say you want to date somebody, and you aren't clear about what the heck you were you were you were asking God for. You know what I'm saying? So, you can sit up here and say, I want to date somebody, and I want to do this, and I want to do that. But you ain't asking, you ain't telling God, you know, can you send me a nice woman or a nice man to complete me? Even though I can complete myself, but add an extra completion to me. That can support me. That has good communication. That has good trust. You know, that, that will be there for me mentally, emotionally, sexually, all that stuff. So, you can't just ask for somebody like that and then wonder why. You got stuck with Ugmo, you know, that just, you know, don't feel like you got it all upstairs or feel like she ain't got it all upstairs because that's what, exactly what you're praying for. But it's just all in a state of mind, how we do others, how we do ourselves, our thought process, how we're able to, you know, respond to certain things, how the heck we able to push out certain things. That's why I had to really start paying attention to myself, you know, wondering how am I projecting on people because it's just like, I love my friends and stuff like that. There's a lot of people that tell me, Rosalyn, you don't, you don't really vent enough. And it's just like, well, you have to understand. A lot of people I've came across has, you know, burnt me, either used 
uh, <clears throat> what I've told them against me or they have gotten jealous because of certain situations that, you know, I, there's no way of me helping, you know, but I had to be able to know my worth and know, you know what, people like that going to come and go. They'll, people come in your life just to test you, just to see how far they can take stuff. And I'm like, uh-uh, uh-uh, uh-uh. Because if you try to bring havoc to my life, it's bad, bad enough, you know, if you got to deal with somebody you have no choice to deal with, that's a big difference. But if you have a choice of dealing with somebody and you choose to deal with that, that's your fault. But it's just like, I, to me, when you bring, you're bringing a headache to my life and I see that, you know, I try to find goodness in everything, goodness in all people. But if I start noticing a pattern that is not positive and it's more negative, I kind of let you go. So if you want good things to come in your life, you have to start thinking about good things, and I have to tell myself that. Don't think about the negative stuff, because there's nothing you can change about that. Unless it's something you can change, then change it. Don't talk about it. Just change it. But, you know, think about how you put your thought process. Think about what you keep your, your energy on. What do you focus on? Because, you know, I know it's so certain times that I can focus on negative thoughts, and I have to drop kick myself and say, hey, think about something positive. Think about something positive. Don't focus on this negative stuff. Because what you keep focusing on that negative stuff, that's when you're going to start bringing some stuff. Because we get aggravated and be trying to wonder, wonder why. Oh, when I think of something um, positive, it really don't happen. But when I think of something negative, boom, there it happens. Because we don't put a lot more energy on that negative stuff than we get on our positive. Because when positive stuff happens, we're like, eh, you know, this ain't going to happen. This ain't going to happen. It may happen. You know, I don't know about all that. You know, I'm sorry for drinking my wine today, y'all. So, it's hot. And it's at the end of the day. But I'm just saying, you um, when you go through stuff like that, you have to think about your thought process. It's like if you know you want to do something, you have to have confidence. You have to have faith and trust in that situation that when it comes to something good, this will good happen for you. Because as much energy as you put into that negative thought process, it's like, oh, watch, I'm going to get to work tomorrow. They're going to give me hell. And if you really think about that all night, guess what? You're going to go to work and they're going to give you hell. So what you accept, that's what you will keep attracting. So be careful about the things you think about. Be careful about the things you push out there. And be careful how you, you know, just present yourself and all that other stuff so you can be able to bring good into your life. Because, you know, time's coming about to change, so you need to be careful about them things. So I hope you're able to resonate with the content of my video. I had to take a good sip, a little sip of that wine. You know, um, and you have a blessed week. So now as much love and light and positivity as you possibly can. Knowing better days are coming for you. You just got to be patient and just remember what the things you accept you will attract. So... Drop me a line or two. I'd love a chance to get to know you. You know, give me a thumbs up, like, and even share, you know. And drop me a couple of lines. I'd love a chance to hear from you. And hit that notification bell and like and subscribe on social media favorites to every receive fit. And knowing you are blessed, highly favored, and truly loved. And knowing there is always somebody out there praying for your better days. And post notification shout out goes to. Who am I going to go to today? Kimber Wolfgang, what up, sis? Much love to you, girl. Don't say I'm preaching today because I ain't preaching today. <laughs> but whatever. But, you know, I just tell y'all what's on my mind because I know, you know, all of us are probably going through it one way or another. So, send out as much love and positivity as you possibly can. And I hope y'all have a blessed week. And send out infinite abundance, healing abundance, and loving abundance if you, you know, peacefully need it. And I will talk to you on my next video. Much love. Peace. Wow.